Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video I'll be showing you how to fix your dimensions for isometric drawings. So if you're having any problems with your dimensions, let's say for example I wanted to dimension this line. So for dimensioning, just ensure you have object snap turned on, ensure that you have endpoint turned on as well. Alright, so let's say I wanted to dimension this line here. So if I click dimension here, and I click this point, and then I click that point there, and I bring that out, you can see that this is at a different angle, and it doesn't quite line up with this line. All right, and it looks a bit tacky. So to get it to line up perfectly, this is what we're going to do. Let me just firstly delete this. All right, so the reason for that is because this right here was set to linear dimensions. All right, so what we want to do is to change that from linear dimensions and change it to aligned dimensions. All right, so once we change it to aligned dimensions, if I click here and click here, then as you can see, it would line up perfectly like that. All right, but know that even though it's lined up now, it's kind of tilting downwards and not coming out smoothly with this line. So in order to fix that, this is what we would do we would now type dim edit dim edit which is basically dimension edit so click dim edit and down here where it says oblique we're going to click on oblique then it says select object so we're going to select the dimension that we want to change so click on it and press enter all right so now i want it to line up with this line right here so because i want to line up with this line i'm going to click this point here and then I'm going to click right here and just like that my dimension lines up perfectly with this line all right so that's how you would go about fixing your dimension in isometric good day thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe and turn on your bell for future AutoCAD and technical drawing videos thanks again for watching